Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. Just spent the last couple of hours, actually, going through the whole map, and out of after all of that, I realized I missed a pair of pants. Yep. <laughs> anyway, lots to show you before we get going. Did get into here, clean all the stuff out of it. Um, this was something that... I'm trying to think of who it was. There's been several episodes now. I want to say Quiet Mirth, but I'm not sure. Someone had suggested that this might be a great place to station our mortars to attack outward into wherever sieges are going to uh, going to come at us. And it wouldn't surprise me if a siege isn't one of the next things that happens to us. I don't think we've had one yet, this map. So that's it's coming. And once we research... Mortars, which are where? Research. Mortars, right there. Oh, I got a set? I do. I don't remember what we were working on. We're waiting for the the, uh, the workbench to go in so we can get medicine production going. And I, it's one of the things I did get ready for this episode. But I switched over to mortars until then. But mortars and then incendiary mortars. And we can launch from here. Maybe stay, take it a step further. Um, a tiny living quarters? Um, a table and chairs, as well as all the weapon racks for getting snipers and pistols out in this area under the roof right here. Quite often a siege will take a while. And by the time that your folks are right in the middle of the battle, they're all ready to crash. Their moods are, are tanked. So if there's a place for them to, you know, to go rest right then and there, just reassign the bed or give them a table and chairs and they can take out the meal that they have on them. So I think this might be a, kind of an interesting place to, to play with that idea. And, and like I said, as well as some weapon racks and you know, a couple of snipers for shooting down this length or grabbing rifles on their way out to snipe a siege or, or what have you. And then pistols, whoever's got the wrong kind of weapon can quickly swap out right here in the middle of the gauntlet. I'm kind of thinking that's our long-term plan for right here. Otherwise, I see Sangria is sound asleep. I worked her good. I worked all of them. So, well, we're filthy in here. we got to set somebody for cleaning. But we took down trees. We hauled in iron and our steel and wood. And, and I'm just kind of slowly taking my time working through the map right now. We've got the one grow area right here. And it's predominantly medicine. And when this round is done, I think we're going to be you know, putting in another one. So I'm kind of thinking we're going to need a second grow area, uh, um, greenhouse, for winter time. So maybe right in here will be a second grow area. It doesn't have to be in our base. It's likely going to get attacked by somebody, and if it does, it does. But uh, maybe we can double wall it, make it a little bit less inviting to, to blow a hole through it or something. I don't know. In fact, while they're over there attacking it, we can be at, popping out these doors sniping them. So maybe that's to our advantage. I don't know. But I'm thinking we want a backup grow area. And that's the only area I can come up with that's got good rich soil that's not going to wipe out our um, grazing area here or our uh, turret zones or what have you. And it's just getting too crowded in here. So I don't think that's going to work. So... That's the area that's available to us, as far as I can see. It's too close to the gauntlet here to do any good. Otherwise, what else happened in this area? I still don't have that torn down. It's not even registered to tear down anymore. Tried to do that once. Deconstruct you. You are an awful chair. We'll just deconstruct you. And get that one gone. That's not needed anymore. We have two block cutting tables over there. Otherwise, got all the stuff hauled over here. We still need to go through our weapons area, move our weapons racks, and actually designate what kind of weapons are going to go in each one that are in the base. I see they're dumping them over here now. Um, what else moving through here? I set up... Now, the blast when this one went off was big enough. I'm thinking it's now a 5x5 instead of a 3x3. Three three. Or at least 5x5 five five mi minus the corners. That's what I remember seeing. Um, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and drop the, uh, the limestone chunks around each of these guys as well to protect them from people coming up the river and shooting at it. And we can duck behind it and shoot through too and get some cover out of it. And I believe if, if it is a 5x5 five five, standing right here using his cover, and if this blows up, we'll still be out of the blast radius. I may be wrong there, but that's that's my guess. So that's something I was playing around with. Set up, actually before last episode, set up what would be the uh, uh, 
the place where we drop off animal corpses and butchering will probably be right over here on the outside. And then the drop off the, the meat will drop into here as well as the veggies will come in through these doors into here. And then we could have a refrigerator area here. I think is what this was planned for. And just set this as one notch higher priority and someone will pop in there and keep reloading it for the cooks in here who will then drop off into the the uh, uh, meal refrigerator which can be accessed from the dining room and main hallway here it taps into both kitchen and dining room and then on from there so that's been figured out laid out and doors are in and just waiting for for them to get done building other things which we've been doing this is all ready for the wedding whenever that's going to happen um, I moved this bedroom over by one and put I'm going to have the weapon racks out here just in case this guy truly can only access what is in the hallway. So we'll move these two weapon racks out to here. And don't know what we'll do with that one. But uh, yeah, I don't think I can squeeze one more in. Unless we move this assembly over to here, then I can get one more in right there. That could work. Anyway, that's for weapons available to us immediately while, you know, from our sleeping quarters. Man, this place is filthy. There's dirt everywhere. And then more weapons way out there, and then the junk ones. So we'll set up maybe... Will the we weapon racks do a, a quality um, a hit point storage? It will not. So I can't say only the ones of a certain quality land in here. That's unfortunate. I'm sure, yep, I know, there's a mod that'll do it. But, I, you know, from the base game, looks like I can't say that the junk weapons all go over there. So we'll just have to, we'll just have to make that work. If we can set it up so that they're always in a place where there's an orbital trade beacon, then that, that uh, you know, makes it so it works just fine. We, we can still pick and choose as we go. Otherwise, what happened here? I did get the doors put in, um to these two bedrooms and shut these down. Eventually we could just wall that back in, but I want I want the ability to open them up and go through here quickly if, if I decide I want to. Um, otherwise, changes in here. Don't think there are any. Down in here, I got lights set up, or torches set up, all the way through this area. I can't see them, but Handy is already programmed to go and put them all in. So she's, everybody's, Setup still doing uh, quite a few different things. Um, ran into, let's see, this steel over here is going to go all the way through. So we're going to go ahead and build a quick wall and door setup over here. We have that one pretty much accomplished over there. And then I tore this one down. I'm going to put one in over here. We have a bunch of steel going on right there. So we'll put the doors in this position. In fact, let's go ahead and queue this up for mining now just so that we can use this as access if we need to but all that's most likely going to go away and it's going to leave us wide open again so that's going to pretty much finish off our access to this area so we just have to figure out how we're going to deal with this area maybe we're not going to maybe really the answer is just a series of turrets right in here and just just keep taking them out and those will be our disposable turret area anyway um is there anything else obvious to talk about before I get into the thing that caused me to stop what I was doing and start recording? I had an event that I couldn't just brush over. Otherwise, it's been pretty boring. I figured it would be. So a good time just to just to you know take two hours to do really you know the sort of stuff we've been doing. Just keep doing that until all the little the little stuff is done. Um, just glance in here real quick. I don't think so. I don't. Nothing's triggering my memory here. I did move a couple of stockpile, create a couple of stockpiles over here to get wood and steel into our base area in larger quantities. So we've got it to use in this area as we need it. After this, or soon, I will go ahead and get uh, all of the the blocks moved over to this area too, so we can start building interior walls and things like that. Um, batteries are getting low. So we need to build more power this episode, too. We've got to come up with another source of power, probably a generator. Otherwise, let me glance down at my notes. Then there's something we've got to talk about. We've got to maybe put another heater in, but let's get the power going first. Um, work schedule's got to be worked on yet. I think that's about it. Um, Quiet Mirth had mentioned that after I went to all that trouble trying to get everybody to haul all of the things in. Well, first of all, um, 
New Foundation, I believe, said that he was pretty sure that um, that if they're in a caravan, that you don't need to have items in a stockpile. I was kind of thinking that way, but there have been times when I was surprised, and something that was that I expected to be able to sell to a a uh, traveling merchant did not appear as an option, not even down in the list of items that weren't available. Not this beta 18, but back in alpha 13. So since then, I haven't been able to verify. I mean, do they know that an item that we dropped all the way up over here from a, uh, from a siege is available to sell when they're trading with Klaus over here? So everything on this section, you know, this entire map is fair game for a caravan trader. Or is there a distance issue? Or, you know, did we need to strip the bodies? Or once they were dead, it was considered our property and and we could have sold the clothes right off of them at that moment? Those are the questions I don't have firm answers on. And I was going to experiment with those, those issues if Klaus had caught whatever his name was over here. And I was really surprised that Klaus at double the run speed couldn't have caught him. That three point whatever that he was that the other guy was running at, that, that was sure a fast three point whatever. He got through there really quick. So we missed that opportunity. Another opportunity's popped in though, and I've been resisting clicking on this to remind me, but we do have a, uh, a pirate merchant out there, so we need to get to that one probably first thing. But, um, so Quiet Mirth had mentioned that's what I was about to say, that a way to have gotten around that if I had thought of it, and, you know, that was actually a neat idea, was to have quickly popped in and created little stockpile zones around every one of those little areas that there were clothes sitting at, and suddenly everything would have been in a stockpile. I wouldn't have had to have carried them all, and, you know, that was a great idea. I didn't think about that, but it's very possible it's not even needed, but uh, yeah, I might experiment with that next time. We'll see. Anyway, um... David wrote in and, and kind of jokingly mentioned that, you know, Agira, well, that's not a guy. I thought we had Missy, a girl, Agira, a guy, and Porthos, a guy, just by looking at their little, their little uh, um, pawn here. You know, it just looked like one, but actually Agira turned out to be female. So ended up with mostly girls again, like we've been this entire series. Um... During my cleanup, I got a message that Agira has taken damage because of the addiction to wake up. And the damage was brain damage. So I'm thinking, okay, I guess we're going to be tossing that character and just sending him out. And then this happened. Agira died due to wake up addiction. So chemical damage to the brain and it just suddenly died out of nowhere no infection or anything like that just passed away which has freaked these two out big time so we have missy a female and let's see here character was good at growing but again i'm really trying to get some guys in here and we have porthos the one i wanted to get rid of who's now looking a little bit better than before it has construction and artistic and Mealy. Um, I think I'm just going to clean house and we're going to wait for next time. All of these have got so many problems that I think I'm just going to have Klaus say, uh, you know, two to lose to the three of them and, and we'll continue to the next raid and see what happens there. But this was not a great bunch. These pirates were pretty rough. Porthos, just out of curiosity, you are actually you're recruitable, but you're the one that I didn't give any medicine to. Figuring we're just going to get you walkable and send you on your way. You have no right eye. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. This is a melee character. And psychically death does not like women. Um, a mid-world sketcher. What is that? Oh, artist. Okay. And then a mid-world sailor. Okay. I'm going to hold off on making that decision. Missy, I think I'm going to go ahead and let go. I know there's a, there's a couple of females on my, my list that still want to get into the game, and, and that'll happen soon. Um, at the rate they've been throwing things at us, it's definitely going to happen soon. But I need to get a couple guys in first, 
just because we're so you know we're so lopsided on on the subscriber list getting into the game but that happened there and i thought you know i better go ahead and start recording this one um i go ahead and turn it on just to get things going um i think handy's on her way to drop off the uh the end table here we did get this room finished so all the little stuff like that the maintenance kind of stuff has been been waiting for episode after episode i'm trying to get tried to get done before turning this one on just in case we get another event and we need to need to uh, take care of that before i go though this merchant pirate merchant was sitting here for quite some time so klaus where exactly are uh, you went to bed how bad off are you i really need to wake you up yeah let's let's deal with the pirates and then um, which means I could sell these guys, but that is a huge negative on everybody. And with this disease going on, I don't think that's smart at all. But it's quite a bit of money. It really is. It's really tempting to do, let's put it that way, to get yourself into, into the slave trade of this game. It's, it's, it's quite lucrative if, if you've got the, uh, you know, if, if that's your character. It's not mine. But food, yeah, let's get you to do this and then grab a meal. So, Klaus, and head over there. And that's where we'll start. Then I'll start working my way through the list. And I see Natalia's going to take care of some prisoners here. Yeah, we could sell Porthos for 224 and Missy for 342 Not as much as I thought. But that's probably because they're, they're, they're kind of damaged right now. Otherwise, they've got a lot of money. Positive number. Okay, that's telling us what that is. Okay, so let's kind of go through. We've got almost everything in our uh, main stockpile over there, and we we don't have. I can't move, but we still have some weapons in the bedrooms that are apparently not showing up. So I'm only showing one sniper rifle. Cancel pause, and we've got. Well, we've got one sniper rifle there, but we've got one over here too. I had Cather bring this one in, so. Normal, 100 of 100. That's probably the one that is registering and is not registering this one, even though that is well within the sphere of influence, right? Let's verify that. Miscellaneous, right there. Sphere of influence is... Hmm, how do we count that? It is one bigger than this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And from... Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. It's possible that that's not in its sphere of influence. We cut, we clip off the corner here. All right, let's do it this way. Uh, we're definitely one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Clip off, clip off. These may not be either, so it may not be a fair test to see if these were included in this because they're they're kind of on the fringe of where that that sphere would be. Hmm. So I'm still. I'll just have to take your guys' word for it that uh, it it is truly blocked by these walls and cannot go any further. But I think these this might have this. I think this one definitely would have been in. Let's go with that. One, two, three steel clubs. We have five available. Um, oh wait, is there? There's not any kind of a colony inventory, right? There's a history, factions, menu. Research animals. No, we don't have a, a colony inventory. If we do history, statistics, if we do, let me know. But I don't, and, you know, of course, it's, there's probably a mod that does that. But <laughs> there's no more steel clubs in here. No. So we own five. Three are immediately available to this trading beacon. Okay, let's play with that one. And right there. All right, so if we get into, and they're going to deal in clubs most likely. Well, maybe they won't drive uh, deal in tribal stuff. Clubs right there. Steel, there's three that they register as having access to, and that's the three that are in the main hallway. Okay, well, that kind of confirms that. They won't deal in clothing, and that's fine. So, oh, their medicine's expensive. No, I can't do that. Do they have anything we truly want? They got smoke leaf. They've got yayo. They've got we've got yeah. Just you can take that, and you can take that. That just killed one of our prisoners. So those are out of here. Now, what is the 
penoxiline. Penoxiline? Uh, it kind of reminds me of penicillin. A drug for preventing infections from starting blocking, blocks malaria, sleeping sickness, and plague. Take every five days. Note, this drug does nothing to cure existing infections. It only prevents new ones. Interesting. I think Lady Shell had mentioned that. Quite expensive. Maybe we'll make our own someday. But that's a lot of money. Wake up, go juice. And they've got beer. Um, these are all ours. Anything here that's truly worthless. I would like to have the option to even put poor pistols on folks if, if possible to go ahead and do things. Um, the short bow, we can toss that one. Keep the great bow, I think. Well, superior 97. It's powerful, but it's got such a long warm up and cool down. I think we'll go ahead and sell that. Otherwise, anything here that we desperately need to get rid of. Pilas, yeah, we could do that. We'll get rid of those two. Uh, did that one already. I think we'll keep the rest. All right. Anything up here we want to get rid of? Components we'll keep. They don't have any to sell. They have just those to sell. We have these two to sell. We're not going to. And... I guess that is it. Well, I was hoping to do more with this one, but... No, nope, that's where we are. Okay. So, they're going to give us 200 for all that. So, accept. Okay. That's done. Klaus, are you... Standing. There we go. Go grab a meal. And then... Let's go ahead and set these two for... Prisoner for release. I don't think it's going to happen until they are completely done with their uh, with their their healing and I cannot get simple meals to go into here that is so frustrating let's see if I can specifically tell somebody to do that Cathra is relaxing socially if I wanted you to move simple meals you can't yet if I set it for all meals then you pr well I could do this next time we're gonna get out of the prisoner business but um, I could set it for all meals and then specifically tell you to move just the simple meals. That may do it. Yeah, I can see that happen. Don't know if they'll replenish it, though. Since I'm having such a hard time doing that. So, Pirate Merchant is done. Okay. Uh, there. Then, what else is in my notes? Um, well, let's just kind of look around. I told Handy I wanted her to get as many of these little torches up and running as possible. So, how is she going to do that? She's going to the furthest one? Did it cancel a whole bunch of them or something? Or is she combining them all in one? Nope, she didn't. And she's going to go build a granite wall. <laughs> well, if you're going to make the trip and you've got... Oh, Klaus is going to go haul somebody out right now. He did. Where Missy is walkable. Okay. So she can leave. And she's going to, on the honor system, not pick up weapons as she goes. Nice. So Klaus is going to go ahead and do that right now. All right. Well, that's good. We're done with that. Wait for the next batch and see if we roll the dice a little better. Some better characters. It's, yeah, we want to get as many people in as soon as we can. But it's kind of nice to have a, you know, a, a decent quality character to spend the next hundred episodes, you know, calling your own. So, I'm, I'm planning on taking this, this series for the long run. So, don't want to just grab everybody that walks in from here on out. Let's, let's get some quality ones. Boy, that was just in time. The pirates are out of there. So, Sean Tigo. Minor break risk. Michael. Um, Sean Tigo is mining. Who can I get to clean? And Michael is probably burning out over here, huh? Being in the dark and all that. That's why I wanted Handy to go deal with those. His mood is down. Though in darkness is only a three. Eat without a table. He's an ugly environment. Uh, innocent prisoner died. Well, I didn't cause it. Um, I guess it's kind of the same as if you starved them or something. Hmm. Okay. Barrack. Depressive. What do we do for Michael that he likes and wants to do? He wants to go art. That's what he has the passion for. And I have a feeling, you know, other than have him go mealy something, maybe I'd better just do that for a little while. All right, let's do that. We'll put him back on mining later. Maybe we'll alternate him back and forth. But let's go ahead and give him some, 
some a chance to make some really horrible art things at his Michael at his skill of two, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, you go art for a while, and then we'll get you back into mining, and we'll eventually eventually get you into your niche, something that uh, that you enjoy doing the most. Handy. If you're gonna go work on a wall, you're gonna work on most likely that one. Although you're gonna go work with Tomislav, sure. We'll do that. I was gonna have you haul the materials in to, to fill this one in. But sure. Was she still only likes Tomislav at 70, right? Yeah. So let's give them some more uh, together time and we'll get this wedding going. Porthos is out of here. Missy is out of here. And we are done with this. So I'm going to unset as prisoner, which allows our people back in here to do things again, including picking up that meal and things like that. Um, we could also get a vent in here. We've been waiting to do that. Temperature, vent, let's get that put in. And Shantigo. That's right, I was, I was talking about Shantigo. I'm going to set you for cleaning real quick. We are desperate for cleaning in here. Oops, let's do that. That's your only one except for cooking. You probably satisfied the uh, the cooking, and that's why you're doing that. Let's clean up the kitchen area first and move from there. Okay, so Michael is going to... I have to tell him to stop that because he's really slow at mining, and he'll be the next five minutes tapping in that thing, which is probably why he hates it so much. You're going to dig it marble. Huh? Work. Michael. What did I do wrong? Mining was a two for you. All right, let's specifically tell you. Or is this set for... This is set for a certain uh, quality or a certain uh, skill level, isn't it? I would have done that. Yeah, okay. Michael, try that again. There you go. Go make yourself a, a sculpture. And you're going to do the grab the wood to do it. Good. So, Kathra is hauling fine meal. She's on hauling duty right now. A lot of them are. We're just... Really trying to get all the little miscellaneous stuff done. Catherine, can you clean? Needs? No. Work? Character. Incapable of nothing. Okay. Needs? You're in great shape. Let's set you for cleaning as well. Let's get this place. You can see. I don't know if you can see the detail, but it is just filthy everywhere. We're doing everything but cleaning. And it's really building up, which means the beauty is is really bad through the entire place. And it's really going to hurt their moods. Kathra, you're going to do that for a little while. Then we'll get you back to art here real soon. Klaus is doing something with medicine. Oh, we're hauling some to here. We already have... I don't want to get too many out here. What are you hauling? You're hauling all 18 of these into there? No, I can't do that. Why is that? These guys are set for... Uh, storage, medicine at important. Did this get set to critical? Is that why? Right there, storage, critical. Just set you to important. And can I get you to reverse that order? And if I were to tell you to haul it... Good, you're going back over here with it. Good, good, good. We have plenty over there. That was just for emergency vet uh, repairs. Vet, you know, working on animals. Um, Natalia's doing that. I feel like I was in the middle of something and Klaus distracted me. What was it? Michael's heading over here. Oh, someone's got to take care of the body. That's what's going on. Who? Um, set you for strip. Uh, Agira is, was female. Where does it say that? Doesn't actually say anymore. Anyway, um, jailbird. So, professional jailbird. Who to do the body? I don't want to get Alicia stuck with dealing with the the mortuary duties all the time when others are still in good shape. In fact, Kathra, you are, were actually in really good shape right there. And needs... Well, you're good enough. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. And then let's... We have no graves. That's what's going on. Hmm. Okay. No graves. Where do we want our next round of graves? We're not going to have... Well, we could have angry people come in and bang on these doors. That's quite possible that they'll choose to go here instead. 
especially since these are wooden doors so we get these changed out. Okay, then let's miscellaneous and grave and let's put a bank of graves over here. Meant minor break risk. Um, turn you around like that. Hmm, there. Oops, that was not supposed to be there. And there, there, there. Okay, you go away. Yeah, we'll do that. And we can build copy and go there. Okay. So, Rabbit, I set you to haul and haul and haul because you got a great run speed. But actually, how are your needs? Yeah, once you get around or past this next round, then let's have you... In fact, let's go ahead and as soon as you get in a little closer... Actually, as soon as you... Well, okay, as soon as you drop it off, I'm going to cancel your priorities. And I'm going to set you probably to hunting. That's what you want to do, right? Rabbit and character. Let's hunt one of your... Hunt is not a thing here. Hunt is a thing over in work. And rabbit is right there. And you've got a double passion for it. But hunt is not a... Right here. Just shooting. Yeah, there's no hunting in that sense. So hunting is is a composite of shooting and, and some of these other skills, I'm guessing. All right, so Rabbit, I'm just going to pause you right there for a moment. Um, okay, you're playing horseshoes. All right, let's just leave you alone there. I want you to go after some of the further out game, and specifically the faster game. So actually, I'm going to take that Lynx off of, off of uh, Handle or, or Tame. That was a curiosity, but I don't think I'm going to commit to that one. There's too much of a chance of Sangria coming up here and not noticing that she's up here. When did we expose that? I don't remember seeing that partial structure before. Interesting. Um, ostriches and emus. They're all in this area. Has anybody moved into another area? And do we have any muffalo available yet? Although I don't think I could actually feed a muffalo. I was looking at our hay grass and it's not very, uh, don't have a lot of it left anymore. I'm not seeing any of those birds. What was that? Pause. We've got Catherine started a fight with Shantigo. Reason. Insulted. So Shantigo social insulted Cathra. <laughs> Really? Cathra is the abrasive one. I would think that if it would have gone the other way. After having so many nice chats with Cathra, he finally said the wrong thing and Cathra went off on him and boom! He's going to take him down. Well, he's, he's not uh, defenseless, but he just got a red spot right in the middle of his chest. What does that mean? Health. Right leg. Well, so much for the theory that... Um, you know, that it, it is anatomically correct. Hmm. Cathra? Whoa! Cathra's getting pummeled. Shantigo, is, is, his defenses are, are fairly defensive, or able to defend himself, put it that way. And Shantigo is resting after he rescues Cathra. You, you, you can be the gentleman here. You can be the, you know, the big the big guy here and, and go ahead and, and put her into bed there. Okay. So Natalia is sleeping. Tomislav is where at the moment? He is hauling steel to a turret. You drop off that steel and then you got the order to go tend to Cathra. Okay. Cathra, what happened to you and what do we need? Uh, health. So we've got bruises, cracks and bruises. I'm going to try no medicine on that one. I don't think it's truly needed. I don't think there's infection risks in these. Even though it's cracks, there's no bleeding. So there's no exposure to germs in that sense. This we can unforbid. Um, what happened to Shantigo? He just dropped her off. He should be walking this way, right? Shantigo. You are going to go rest in another hospital bed. With a dead body in it. <laughs> um... Okay, um, no. Let's do that. Chantigo, once you go, rest until healed over here. Your needs actually could use some food. How bad off are you? Uh, bruise, bruise, and crack. You're not bad off. Let's go and grab a meal, 
and then you can go and rest over there. And Kethra is actually unconscious. And in extreme pain. Hmm. Her needs... She's fine otherwise. And she's still in a good mood. Still tons of joy and really low expectations. So, alright, that should work fine. <laughs> oh, RimWorld. Okay, I need to get somebody um, sleeping. Yeah, I need to get somebody to go dig one grave. Alicia, you're relaxing socially. You don't truly need it. Can you dig some graves for me? Because you're here. And while you're there, go ahead and do those. So I have a feeling you're going to maybe do one and then, then ignore me. Are you, Why are you walking so slow? Did I do that? Oh, point 0.8 because of the water. Must be. Wow. Is it because you have to walk in the deep here? No. Minor break risk, Michael. We need to go look at Michael. He's he's fine now. Why are you going so slow? Is it still water? Are you still relaxing socially? Did I forget to break that? I probably did. Yeah. Let's try that again. There. I think I still had your your joy in the middle of that, right? No, you've got a problem. What is your problem? You are walking so slow. Now, hmm. Interesting. Withdrawal, 8.2%. So we're going through withdrawal symptoms. Gear, she no longer has any more on her. And that addiction large is what Aguirre had before she passed away. So it's possible we may have to to create a new Alicia soon in case this one doesn't make it and then just make it a policy that there'll be no more addictions allowed into the colony. It's my first time with this concept that wasn't in Alpha 13. And if she passes away from that, I'm not going to count that as a, uh, as a, you know, as, as something that's going to be permanent in our series because I had no idea what addiction large means. So if that turns out to be the case, then Alicia, we'll, we'll put you back in somewhere, somewhere else. But that walking at point eight has got to have something to do with that. So let's think about this for a little bit. So go juice, withdrawal, pain, 300% needs. You're in actually really bad shape here. Just dig me one. And what are you doing when you do that? Tell you what. Let's just send you to bed. But can I send you to a hospital bed? Is there any way to do something like that? Rest until healed, not injured. So I can't make you go to bed, health, needs, because you're not hitting that point yet. I can make you get something to eat. Your comfort is is crashing. Negative or gold juice withdrawal, negative 35. Wow. Let's get you out of here. If you collapse or something out there associated with this. I think I'd rather you be in this area. Okay, I need somebody else to dig a grave so we can get rid of Agira. Who to do? Sangra, you are out here taming boomalopes. What she wanted to do so badly when I was doing all my work and I kept saying no because I didn't want her to succeed off camera. I wanted to be able to capture it. So I stopped there. Michael, you are... No longer, well, you're still kind of iffy, but it's no longer registering over here because, don't know why, because let's have you grab a meal just to get past this little issue right here. Then you'll come back and you'll you'll continue working on that. Um, still, Rabbit is sleeping now, so I still want to queue up something for him to, to work on. Where's my timing? About going on 40 minutes. We've got lots of deer down there to work with, and I kind of want to save them. So let's go ahead and set two. There's more. Just two. There was there was more than that just a while ago. They must be leaving the map. They must be. So let's go ahead and set you two for hunt. And there's an ostrich. And are you about to leave the map? No. Double click. I get one. A little further. All right, we'll go ahead and set you for hunt. Okay. So I want to see what it's like to hunt those while there's still a chance. Oh, there's another one right there. Right there. Hunt you. OK. 
Okay. Just to see what it's like to do this before there are no more on the map. And while we're still walking at a speed of 7. But I want to be aware of that. Cather is still down. We did get healed, right? Health. We've got this little thing going up. Um, we didn't use any medicine. So we'll... We'll see just how this works. Field training of obedience of our one of our pigs. Working on this one though, right? I think so. You are training wild boar. Yep. Um, animals training. So we got release off on all of them. We have an alpaca that. Let's see here. Could be trained for release. Otherwise, is trained for obedience. Okay. So alpaca really is just for. What we got over here. We're training all the way through Michael's. In Chantigo's bedroom. Hmm. Oh well. Yep, disturb their sleep. Okay. Natalia is up. She is going to take care of Chantigo, and I'm going to set him temporarily uh, health to no medicine also. So, Natalia, are you going to reprogram? You are. You're going over there. Okay. So, Alicia finally made it in. I'm a little worried about her. I don't know what to expect from this. Otherwise, I need somebody. Miss P, what are you doing? You're consuming a fine meal, and then you're fine. So when you're done with that fine meal, you are going to work on these graves. Okay. Now, is there anything I've talked about but I haven't done? I see we got the one torch working out of all of our... Oh, we got two torches working. I've got... Catherine's no longer capable of walking, so she's just healing. Uh, she didn't need a meal, though, right? She was okay. No, she does now. So, um... Natalia, if Tomasov doesn't do it and he's sleeping, then how about you take care of Catherine next? Prioritize feeding... Catherine. Why? Because you're already doing it. You're right there. You're, you're on top of it. You know what's going on. Good. So, Miss P's going to take care of the graves... Candy's building our rebuilding our turret, which should stretch and reach that. We do need to think about a circuit over here with a switch. Maybe get that switch visitors all the way down to here. I can't cross the river, unfortunately, but I can get it down here. It's hard to figure out where to put a switch. The thought is that there will almost always be somebody in here that can jump across the river, turn it on if we get a surprise attack, but we may be actually in here and decide that we need to get these things turned on. We've got to run all the way down here, run all the way back. We could try to create a circuit such that it could be turned on from one way or the other, but that's a lot of steel running all the extra circuitry. Hmm. Okay, power. Let's think about power things. That's something we did talk about and haven't done yet. So, architect and power, and let's go with a wood fire generator. Not going to get into chem fuel yet. I'm pretty sure there's research before we can even deal with that. Chem fuel, I believe, fires th or powers the rocket that we may or may not be building. Not planning on building it right now, but it, you know, because we came here on purpose. Emu revenge. That's what I wanted to know. We came here on purpose, so the thought was that we were not going to actually build the rabbit, the, the rabbit, the the rocket to escape. But it may be that in the end. The ones who came here to stay here will stay, and those that have recruited since may leave. Or maybe we'll take a poll, and and people can vote who wants to leave, and we'll build a rocket ship for those folks, or something like that. We'll, we'll figure that out, but that's a long time from now. So chem fuel is not an issue right now. Building this generator is. And whether one is enough, I don't know, but it does give us a chance to see wind power, solar power, and wood power. Um, again, unfortunately, there's no way of knowing what this thing is capable of. It doesn't tell me how many watts, and that is really frustrating. Who would buy a generator not knowing you know, how many kW it can handle? So, I know what these guys can handle. I don't know what this can handle unless I happen to catch it at 100%. I know these were maxing out at 1700. Here, okay, let's look at this real quick. You are running at... There's 1800, and that is... Two thirds? No, I'll say 60%. So, 18, so that's like 2,500 watts for this guy. So, one more of these would do it when the wind's going. This will do it 
when we have enough wood and haven't you know used it to build all of our stuff and we're out of wood so all of them have problems uh cloudy days rainy days um solar eclipses these don't work so it's good just to have a variety though i'm thinking another one of these guys what does it take to build one of those architect and where am i right over here you are 100 steel that's not bad we've got it well we had it but we should still have it yeah let's do that and hmm it takes steel to put in these concrete pathways here but and and steel is what we're we're kind of shy of wood would do the same thing but it burns and lightning strikes do happen and something i saw in Catherine's series i'm just babbling right now with it paused but it's something i want to do over there that she had a building that lit on fire as soon as a building lights on fire, the internal temperature goes up fast. And suddenly it's 500 degrees in there. And someone going inside to try to put out the fire will get burnt and heat stroke and that sort of thing. So I just need to remember something that I didn't think of. It's kind of like, um, like quite worth mentioning, you know, in hindsight, we could have just built quick stockpiles underneath all those items. And instantly they would have all been in a stockpile. So when I was watching her episode, you know, hindsight, watching it and thinking about it, we could have disassembled some of the walls and then suddenly it's all outdoor and the temperature dissipates quickly so we could put wood flooring under this guy right here to not let any trees grow in this area but this is highly flammable and it could light the whole area on fire and if we do get a big fire inside of our base let's try to remember i'll try to remember rip down walls real quick and let the heat out so we can get inside and fight it but anyway rabbit what did you do <laughs> You shot this guy. This guy, health, right foot, gives him a running current running speed of only three. Rabbit, your run speed is still seven, right? You have your medication, and you're running at six six three right now. Why is it? Why is it less? In fact, does it break down? Why it kind of? No, it doesn't. Okay, movement speed doesn't really say. If I go to your health, that was your health. Okay, moving is enhanced. Consciousness, 96%. Consciousness is weakened because of the disease. Okay, but your blood pumping is more. Hmm, you were 7.13. It's kind of interesting to see why that fluctuates so much. I wonder if it has anything to do with your meals. Needs, no, you're fine. So I don't have an answer for that. But it's going to be a while before before he's going to get to you. And you can outrun him. Question is, it should have only triggered the one. There are others up here, but there's a proximity issue there. So it's, the others don't uh, telepathically knew or know that uh, this one's in trouble. So, Rabbit, let's go ahead and send you back to about here. Right there. Pop into here. You should be able to outrun him just fine, except for your cooldown there. But yeah, you're... In fact, you're faster over this. So right about there. And you should automatically fire at as soon as you're in range. Right? Yeah. Right there. Now, I, I didn't realize he was up. Otherwise, I would have been up there in case he went to go play with the one next to the grizzly. Um, grizzly run speeds are what now? <laughs> I probably should know that. Um, Grizzly and the wolf. We have wargs. Ooh. Wargs are on our map. You guys. Heavily muscled wolf-like creatures. Scientists say wargs are the descendants of weaponized military animals created for population suppression. The superstitious see them as tools of an angry god. They will only eat meat or corpses. Mm, okay, so you can't feed wargs kibble if you happen to have one handling skill of six and wildness of 80 and out of just for you know for giggles tame only a 1.8 percent chance of turning on you that's interesting we will untame but uh run speed of five okay grizzly and wolf your run speeds lynx run speed is 6.5 that's actually enough to give the rabbit a run for his money 4.3 and a grizzly so not too bad and the wolf is here somewhere i always have a hard time finding it here he is and you run at 
5.25. Okay, so Rabbit could still reasonably get away from them. So Rabbit, you are now not drafted and want you already hunting. Great. Okay, you go take care of that and you're done. So this one is done. Emu is attacking after being harmed. And visitors, I never did see that. So visitors. Um, group from the Erythotna People's Federation of Visiting Colony. Jump to. You're still here. Oh, you want to trade. Cool. Klaus, how sleepy are you yet? And maybe we'll get that last chance to uh, to check some things out to see if, if no, the pants are in a stockpile. So everything we have to sell, is that looks like a cougar every time I see that. That doe is still sitting there laughing at us, isn't it? Yeah, she's she's still taunting us to to go and shoot her so we can get another herd of deer coming at us. Um, Klaus, your needs, you're there. So you're going to finish, you're going to grab a meal, and I've got to remember to send you right over there. Deep conversation is going on. Handy, did you ever have a long talk with with Tomislav? No, you actually went down. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to have a wedding or not. <laughs> <laughs> so, Handy, what are you doing right now, anyway? You're hauling steel to high-tech research bench. Ah, you're going to get into that. Good. So, I wanted to get as much of the stuff done as I could so they can get back to just running their normal routines and getting things done on their own without me doing all the work. So, that was nice to see that. Though, so I still want to micromanage some things like this. Getting Miss Appear to dig the graves. Um, I need to get somebody to haul that body. And then I need to get... Um, um, someone to haul in all this wood and all that wood. We did a lot of chopping between episodes. So Klaus will be up in a moment. His bed's right there. Shantigo, I can go ahead and set you back, right? No, I can't. You insist on going to a medical bed. Interesting. Okay, go back and rest until... Maybe because I told him to rest until healed. Is that it? If I cancel that and then set you up to that... Um, Chantigo. So if you're not going to rest till healed, your health is 28 of 30 and 26 of 30. You'll be fine anyway. Yeah, you'll be fine. Um, Klaus is going to take care of the body. Okay, did you get a meal? I mean, you're fast, but are you that fast? Needs. You're that fast. <laughs> How cold are we outside? 34. Inside. We're at 70. We're working. 58. It doesn't like to go through doors. Although it's going through this one, they're going back into there. But it's not going through here. I think that's what it is. We're not communicating because of this. Um, 61 and 70. That's what it is. All right, let's go ahead and set this up to go. And then I've got to get Klaus to go and do the trade and then I think we're gonna call this done um, temperature right yeah right there are there any other dead zones here really it's this one although theoretically you're going it's not doing it it's not going from here to there I'll do that again uh, let's set you heater it's dying right there why is that this room is 59 61 58, 69, you are designated as on, but you're not, okay, you are moving through there. I guess it just will not show me second generation. That must be it. Build copy, now I've got to turn you off there. So we'll go this route. So it won't show me what is beyond the first vent into the next one. I just have to see that and know. Okay. So these are all connecting. Though if it goes through, you know, different generations of vents, then there's a problem there. Klaus is hauling in steel to stockpile. Go Klaus. But before you do, let's stop you kind of right there before it drops in the water. And let's go talk to Andy and see what's going on here. What? How much money? How much steel can... Actually, silver, but... He won't be carrying very much because they're only carrying what's on in their pockets, right? Kind of like that. What can I buy from you? You've got medicine at 22 and 4 of them. I will take all of that. Thank you. Now you've got 52 and 90 to play with. 
great to get rid of a bunch of uh, rotten clothes and clear out our stockpile. So let's do that. That one, I want to say all of the Ds, but there may be some good Ds in here that are worth a lot and we're going to run out of our money there. So I'll just, you are 23. Okay, we'll get rid of you. I'll just keep going until I see some crazy big number over here. We have a lot of them. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're like this one. Uh, no, I saw the 14, but it's, it's ours. Okay, an awful wool cowboy hat. <laughs> anyway, let's just keep rolling through all of the deceased clothing. And that one was turkey leather pants awful. Nope, you give that back and give that one back. So that's right, the D toques and hats are after our clothes. Okay. So, which means I also need to go to the uh, tailor bench and reset all of that. But let's get rid of you, 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 and you. And one more right there. All right. So we still have 90 to play with. Okay. So, what do we want to sell otherwise? Revolver. We're not going to get into any of these. Could get rid of some clubs. No, we can't. They're not willing to. I would assume it'd be with these weapons. Unless it's. No. Yeah, unless it's just ranged here and then melee down here. Yep, Melee is separate. I see. Okay. And just verify there was nothing else they had to sell. Nothing else. No more numbers over here. They had those and they have those. Okay. So, in our stuff over in here, we're keeping all of these. Yes. All right. Over here, we're keeping all the all of these. They're all within range of what we can wear. 60% and above is what I'm keeping. I think the game will allow 51% and above, but if you put on a 51% and then go and mine something, it drops down to 50 just from where. So there's no point in doing that. We've got a small, awful statue from Michael. We'll have to read that. Do we do it now? Let's do it now. There we go. All right. So Michael has created his first work of art called Black Mesa. On this piece is an illusion of the minor celebrity Teresa, seen looking through a look through a looking glass. Minor celebrity Teresa. Teresa. Think about that. I'm trying to think what Sangria's name was before. Um, as seen through a looking glass, a fisherman poses in the distance, and the work is shaded in hues of purple and black. Author Michael. Beauty negative five clothes and worth what we're 32 i will keep that as as the last thing to sell but let's see here actually that is the last thing to sell we're in, we're going to keep the ones that give a positive beauty these are practice ones right now and i don't really know who Teresa is um okay anything else to get rid of we got rid of all those so of these left is there anything that i missed we have insect jelly cloth medicine and guns and we're keeping all of this i believe so it may be that we won't use some of those but we'll make those decisions later um so we're keeping all of the pants shirts so two pants and a shirt three pants okay but they're all acceptable hit points right yeah that one's on the list okay these guys here the three hats and the foil helmet and that's it so we can't possibly get all their money from them. Hmm. That's too bad. Yep, that's all I can do. All right. Accept and pause. Always have to do that because Klaus... Although this time he may actually haul the medicine because he's on hauling. Hmm, okay. Now, if we had anything... Well, we have... Now these clothes went away already. Shantigo just, he really wanted a hospital bed. Okay, well, that's our temporary hospital for the moment. But, okay, that's being hauled and put in here, good. Um, I have the sense there was something else that needed to get done before we call this one finished. Uh, Shantigo, are you still cleaning? No, you are out of it, okay. So in that case, well, Catherine's out of it too. She was also our cleaner. Yeah, although they did a pretty good job in here. We need to remember next time to get one of them that's still dirty there over into Sangria's area and get that cleaned up. Yeah. I also got some more lights into the areas that have been mined out. Even right over... It's there. 
corn. Standing lamp is being hidden. Kind of nice you can put things on top of the lamps. Ah, but um, Alicia had made that comment a long time ago that uh, if you light up the areas that you've dug out, it, it decreases the chances of bugs spawning in there. That's another reason why I wanted to get these torches up all through here. At least the area that we're going to be working in. But um, Handy Sleeping Tomislav is hauling steel to research bench. Okay, and you are doing it where? You're over there. So you went and grabbed some of the steel that... No, you didn't. You got your own. All right, so that's going on. Actually, how is your mood? You're okay. Let's drop this off over here right at the granite blocks. Let's have you haul a whole pile. Thank you, Mr. P. Went in there and went mining without me telling you to. Let's have you haul... Mm, Tomislav. All that's needed to get this built. Or at least as much as you can haul. This should bring 75. Bring 75. Good. So you're going to put a bunch of blocks in over there. Well, those autosaves scare me. So Miss P is mining. I've got to shut this down. And I think we're done for the moment. Klaus is doing what? Playing horseshoes. Yeah. With that, I'm going to call this one done. Next time we'll get the power situation straightened out. Maybe go ahead and get this new um, um, grow area greenhouse like building. There's another word for that. Greenhouse is typically made of glass, but there's another one that deals with an internal one. I can't think of what that is, but I need to get that one built next time. And with that, I think we're kind of done with a lot of our miscellaneous stuff. We can get full bore back into this. Uh, yeah, that means we're going to get into the raid. But if there's anything I missed, talked about, didn't get back to it, remind me. Or I'll, I'll see it when I edit it, but um, yeah. Anyway, call this one finished with Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.